uh, it's too late the, the Rubens watches to make this kind of hard work because you know in the 50s, 60s there are some people making all the classic like things on the chase and that, yes. that they made at the American style, yes. even in American places <laughs> with American characters, yes. which is uh, very funny and yes. updated, you know, but in, almost from the 80s or with the Derek and this kind of people. But what do you think is uh, the English writers uh, uh, tend to make this uh, kind of uh, hard work too late? Um, to, to, uh, as, in, as in, why do they gravitate towards the American style? Or, or, mm. uh, or general, why, why uh, in Britain is the, 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 the crime writers uh, don't uh, make, uh, you know, how will it? Until the 80s, uh, a, a national, see, national, see, national see, you know, see. with national characteristics and, and local places see, like Manchester see. or London or Edinburgh. I, I think uh, probably it's because potentially because England did not seem like a, a dangerous or sexy or uh, exciting enough place. Um, I mean, I love. David Peace books, which which are you know they they they're like James Elroy set in, in in Yorkshire, you know, which is an idea which I think before he did it would have been laughed at, um, but he did it so convincingly. The books are so dark, but at the same time he really particularly um, in his second book was using elements of horror, I think, to get it done. Because realistically describing England, which is this very grey place, usually filled with very grey people as well, uh, grey Britain, um, is, is, it can feel as though it pales in comparison next to Los Angeles as, as you know, your quintessential crime hard-boiled setting, I think. And I'm not sure why that is, because Los Angeles have, does have like a, a weird existential dread to it, because it's where dreams go to die, basically. Um, but, I don't know, it doesn't strike me as, a, as really a particularly dangerous place. Um, I, I, but as, as to why the Brits came so late to, to that style of writing, I, I, I could only guess that it was because they, they did not consider their, their surroundings to be dangerous enough. Um, yeah. and, and maybe because uh, there, are, there is a great uh, English crime uh, kind of tradition which is the uh, enigma, you know, yes, and yes. people feel yeah. like this is the English thing and yes. the, the American yes. way, yes. you know, yes. maybe that. Mm. I think, I think, yeah, that might, that might actually be true, you know, that, that it, was, it was such a, a rich scene for English crime writers to have a, a locked door mystery and things exactly. like that. Um, I don't know, like I, I, I have never I think, I think something which I've only recently realised about myself is, is that I've never really seen the boundaries between fiction because I read so widely, because I can enjoy Agatha Christie perfectly well. Of um, course. Some of those plots are so elegant, and sometimes it's wonderful to be on a train car in the 1920s or something. You know, it's, it's, it's a, a pleasure. Um, but I do also love horror and noir. I also love the, um, the elegance of literary fiction as well. And so, really, I'm, I'm stealing from all of those things when I'm writing and hoping to, uh, to blend them together. And it, it, it really did not occur to me that, that people would see those boundaries, but I think you're absolutely right that they, they probably did, because most writers stay in their lane, yeah. um, which is something I, I probably won't do, I don't think. I, I, I know my next book is going to be radically different from the first three, um, which isn't to say that I won't keep writing more. I just feel like, because I'm so, so 
early in my career, I, I've got a chance to do something different. I think if you are Ian Rankin, I don't think you can. People want Rebus from Ian Rankin, and people want uh, Jack Reacher from No Child and things like that. They are not in a position where they can just do anything, where they can experiment and take a chance because, you know, in the cases of both those authors, whole companies depend on them delivering a bestseller, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, my, my publisher publishes, in England publishes The Child, and the whole company basically is geared around him because he makes all the money. <laughs> Probably the smallest still for the hell, you know, in a sense. But that's for me a wonderful place to be because I'm with a great company who really know how to, to publish books, but at the same time, I'm someone who can take a chance. No yeah. one's depending on me for, for that level of success. Yeah, it's a kind of freedom. Yes, exactly. Yeah, and, and I, I really appreciate it, I think. Particularly after this. This third one, which was so, it was the hardest one to write, yeah. and I, I, I really think I had a nervous breakdown writing it. My hair was flowing all over my head, having panic attacks and drinking so much, just all the time. Because it was the only way I could, I could make myself do it, because I was so afraid of what I was writing, because it was so, it felt so beyond what I was capable of. Um, and uh, to come out of that and know that I can just do something completely different next is, is a really wonderful thing for me.